Hello everybody, this is Old Soldier. Deer season is upon us again. I want to do an episode about a little bit how I lay out my gear before I get ready for a hunt. And I wanted to talk a little bit about what I carry for deer hunting. Now first off, let me uh, talk about my past experience. It's not like I'm any great hunter. I'm an average hunter. But I have experience. I've probably harvested maybe two dozen deer in my life. And you know, in the introduction I showed some of my mounts. Hey, that's great. Neither of those are very large deer. One of them is a mule deer. One of them is a white-tailed deer. But they're okay, but they're not record winner or anything, and there are a lot more experienced hunters out there. That said, um, you know, if you're a super seasoned hunter, maybe this isn't for you. But, you know, if you're thinking about getting into deer hunting, or maybe have hunted a little bit and want some ideas of uh, the gear that you need for it, maybe this is for you. Let's get into it. So, the first thing, I've laid out all my gear. Uh, when I was in the military, before I went on deployment, whether it was for a school or for a domestic or international training mission or for a real world mission, I laid out all my gear so I made sure I had everything I had. Um, so let's start talking a little bit about that. Let's start with my pack. So this pack is a herbal stock. This is a Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. I primarily bought this for elk hunting because it has a pack tray built into it. Herbal stock have great reputation. They're great packs. This was a little pricey, but uh, when you're carrying stuff around that's heavy, it's worth it. And it's probably for a bit much. So um, where I'm hunting, when I hunt elk, there's a lot, a lot of walking involved. This weekend, it probably won't be nearly as much, but I'm still going to take this pack. And, you know, I may quarter up the deer and take it out, but more than likely I'll drag it out and throw it in the back of my pickup truck. Um, but, you know, I, I, I'm going to carry a few things. I've got this pack. I'm going to use it. So if you're just a dedicated deer hunting, probably not something a lot less will get you by but i've already invested the money in it so i'm going to use it next thing do not forget your tag you'll feel awfully stupid if you do and if the wrong things happened you might get charged with a crime i have an assortment of latex gloves that i wear when i'm dressing out the deer um have i dressed them out without them yeah sure thing but uh you know blood can be pathogen carriers and at this point in my life i don't need anything it's just a good idea to wear a latex glove when you uh, uh, got a deer. Snacks, because when you're hunting, being hungry sucks. Here I have a couple knives. One's a dedicated hunting knife. One is just a general purpose knife, but it keeps a great edge. And one is a bone saw. Uh, anytime in big game, I take at least two knives because I don't want to be resharpening out in the field. Uh, it won't be, you know, elk hunting. It's a much larger animal. Deer hunting, you can generally get by with one. But... Just to be on the safe side, I take two, and this way is next to nothing. This is awfully nice for cutting a pelvis bone. This is a Gerber bone saw. Marking tape. Hey, always a good idea. Hey, so sometimes you shoot it, they'll run away for a little way. It's always a good idea to mark where um, your position was when you saw the deer, and maybe go out and mark the position, keep an eye on where you shot it, and then go do the search from there. Also, if you have to vector people in who are helping you out, it's good to mark a path, especially at night. This is handy, weighs next to nothing. 550 cord. It's There's so many times I go in the woods, I always have some with me. Petzl headlamp. This one lives in this pack, and it's good. You shoot something at dusk, and you're gutting it out at night. Very handy. These are Trioxane fire starters and a lighter. Uh, this is a Bic mini lighter. Put it always lives in the pack. Uh, this part of, you know, in case you get caught out and you need to start a fire, it's good to have some fire starter. It makes life a lot easier. Wrist compass. This is a Techno wrist compass. I use it extensively in the military. Hey, I, do I use the GPS? Yes, there's still a time and a place for a compass. Speaking of GPSs, this is the one that I use. Works great for me. Uh, this is a Garmin, and I have the Hunt X uh, hunting software on there that shows which land is huntable and which land is not and really to keep people out of trouble i find it a useful tool i like the hunt x software hydration is important that's why i have a camelback water bladder this is a smaller one and i keep this in one of the side pockets of my ruck and it works good one pair of extra wool socks in a waterproof bag because wet cold feet suck Extra batteries for the headlamp and the GPS. The batteries for my GPS are lithium in case it gets cold. It's not supposed to get that cold, although we are expecting inclement weather this weekend. But in case you do get stuck out in cold weather, the life of lithium batteries for the GPS 
I can get along without a headlamp if I have to. Probably can't get along. Well, you don't want to get in a situation, I shouldn't say I can't get along without a GPS, but it's nice to have a backup. Laser range finder, another nice tool. This one's from SIG. Uh, this weighs next to nothing, and the optics on it are still very nice. Pair of binoculars, pretty standing. I like to do a lot of spot and stalking. These are Nikon 1042s. I've used a pair of these or a pair of like these for many years. Nikon makes good quality glass. I did a complete episode on these. These are shooting sticks. These are just three dowels that I put camouflage tape and typed with 550 cord. Uh, last year I harvested an antelope and I used this to steady my rifle. Uh, works great. There's commercially available shooting sticks. That's fine if you want to spend the money. This is a simple low-tech solution and it works just fine. Three dowels, some tape, and some 550 cord. Extra ammunition. Don't run out of ammo. Hopefully, if I have to shoot 10 times to uh, harvest a deer, I have big problems. Boots that I'm wearing this weekend. Hey, I used my uh, Danner Fort Lewis Go Devil Danners for many years. Uh, these are a little bit lighter. They're a little bit newer. Both the boots are waterproof. These ones are insulated and a little lighter. So this is what I'm wearing this weekend. They're Solomons. I think they're GTXs. Great boot. All right, a lot of things that I throw in my pack are weather dependent. Uh, we are expecting rain and snow this weekend, so I am packing a pair of Gore-Tex rain pants. Uh, these are Gen 1 heavy military Gore-Tex, and they, all, they work great. They keep my butt dry. However, the one thing when you're hunting, they can be a little noisy, so I probably won't wear them into position. What I'll do is I'll walk into position if I'm going to sit there for a while, slip them out of my ruck and put them on. Like I said, this weekend we're expecting rain. So to couple with that, I am also taking my Gen 1 Heavy Gore-Tex uh, military top. Did a special an episode solely devoted to this. Some people don't like them. I think they're a good piece of gear. For insulation, I have a British Army fleece top. I've also done an episode... 100% dedicated to this. Uh, this was really cheap and it stands up really well. Personally, I like it. Couple of game bags. I'm going with my buddy. Actually, I think there's four. I'm going with a buddy. I brought enough game bags for him and I. If we do quarter, quarter the animal out in the field, we'll use these. If we don't, uh, these are big game bags. They're suitable for elk. Uh, could probably get by with two of these. These are awfully big and these are reusable. These are a new pair that I've had, but I've used this brand before and they're washable and renewable or reusable and I like that. So the state that I live in, you have to wear Hunter Orange for big game. And I, this is a fleece orange chop. This thing is super inexpensive and yet it works really well and I've used it a lot. So a lot of times um, if it's not, there's no precipitation. I won't wear my uh, Bird Army fleece. I'll just wear this and it insulates it also marks me very cheap mossy oak orange t-shirt this is good because i can throw this over all kinds of stuff and i can also put it in the back of my ruck so if i am walking and somebody sees the ruck they don't mistake me for a deer it's like having an orange flag so very multi-use and i don't use this much but this is just an orange vest and this is going to get thrown into the truck for the deer hunt so in a nutshell that's it uh wish me luck there's a lot of uh deer hunters going to the woods in the united states it's the most common big game hunting animal in the united states i will say this it is the animal responsible for the most deaths yearly in the united states because people hit them with their cars and it kills them the deer either come through the windshield or they somehow lose control of, of their vehicle but deer kill more people by people hitting them with their vehicles than any other animal in north america fun little fact anyway wish me luck maybe i'll get a little footage hunting but quite frankly when i'm hunting my focus is on hunting uh, but i got a buddy with me it's hard to shoot and film at the same time we'll see if we get some footage anyway this real short episode this is old soldier this is uh, what i carry for deer hunting Old soldier.